I love you guys, and I don't want you guys to be taken advantage of or controlled by you know who. My mom is 60 and was diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer with severe liver metastasis four months ago. Well, remember the word metastasize, bullcrap, another medical stupidity. Simply means the same lymphatic system, which is, you know, this is the trunk and the branches off the tree. So when you see uh, tumors developing in the pancreas and in the tumor, I mean in the liver, guess what your bowel wall looks like? <laughs> guess what the interstitial spaces of your small and large bowel are? Yeah, real bad. So you know this person's heavily malabsorbed, uh, heavy interstitial lymphatic stagnation along with the pancreas and the liver. So how would you deal with a case like this? How about dealing with this case the same you would with the corona? What? Well, did we just talk about the lymphatic system? Didn't we just read that renal failure is the number one focus of, of the nephrology society of why people die from, from flus? Boy, we've been teaching this for how many years? Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? This is from 05. She is jaundice. Well, liver and you know her bile duct might be blocking up too and or, or you know spastic and real small she also has skeletal muscle wasting and is almost nearly bed bound even walking to the bathroom is extremely exhausting to her yeah, her adrenals probably have no existence she has lost about 60 pounds from 210 well she's overweight obviously to 150 at five foot three Boy, five foot three, should she weigh a hundred and five to a hundred and ten pounds? She's very overweight, and that's part of her problem: kidneys and adrenals. And that's why she has no energy. Her adrenals are down. Well, what's her adrenals? Part of the sodium potassium balance. Part of how the the movement of nutrition across cell walls. It's uh, I mean, you can go on and on what we teach about this, guys. Uh, she needs to lose a lot more weight. She's way too fat. She's 40 pounds overweight, and she needs to go on this grape diet. She is now on a grape fast, and it's been six days. Yeah! Okay. That's the first thing. First thing. I see some improvement because she is sitting up more during the day. See what I'm saying? And taking less uh, narco for the cancer pain. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Because that's what gets you, is the narcotics, especially um, morphine. Also, since she has started the great fast, I see some swelling in her right leg. Okay, well, there's a reason for this. She's in kidney failure. Let me read this again about the, the, the corona, right? Kidney failure is the number one reason people are dying with viral infections. Uh-oh. And respiratory distress people. Well, a lot of people have kidney failure that don't even know it, right? So, why is her leg swelling when she went on grapes? She's hydrating. And this is one of the problems, the risky problems that you have. Moving her to a water base is essential because that starts a hydration. But she's extremely acidic. When you have tumors in both the pancreas and the liver, you know what the bowel wall is going to be like. You know, you, then you can just see her whole body. Heavily lymphatic stagnant. You don't know without seeing her eyes whether they're blue eyes that are white, green, or, or white, or yellow, or brown. You don't know how chronic this lymph stagnation is. So you know that when you start someone on a raw food diet, they, their feet could swell. They could get a little more edemic, and you have to kind of watch that. If the worst case scenario, go to the medical doctor and get you some, uh, some diuretic. Because... Uh, that would be better, you know, or use our kidney formulas. You know, that's the number one thing we push is our kidney formulas. They're diuretics as well. Put yourself on at least three kidney formulas. But if you're in emergency and you want to do something fast, you know, you can always get a diuretic. Uh, but that's a normal thing to see that swelling. The problem is it, sh it proves to us that it's your kidneys. Because when you start to see swollen ankles, redness, all, all the bad uh, breaking down of the skin and the ankles, you see the gangrenes, and everybody blames the blood. Really? This is the lymphatic system at its worst. At its worst. Because it'll gangrene you all the way. It'll take you out all the way. Your body, your body, your body. 
Okay. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. There you go. Come on. <coughs> Get out there, baby. Oh, what about thymus thumping? Here's T cells. Thymus thumping. Oh. Uh, okay. We plan on continuing the grape fast for 30 days. Yeah. Yeah. And hope it. It'll help dissolve the tumors. It sure will. But you got to get the kidneys filtering. So there might be 24 hours, 36 hours. You might want to withdraw all food, all water. I hate to do that, but get those kidneys filtering. Get her on three kidney liquids, at least three kidney formulas. I'm telling you from us. One lymphatic formula, not just one lymphatic one. Go slow with the lymphatic formulas or she's going to swell up even more. You want to go real slow. I would even recommend using the blood formula instead of a lymphatic formula, maybe for the first couple of weeks. That formula is a blood and lymphatic formula, gentle lymphatic formula, because you she can't pull because there's nowhere to go. She's got to open, open. All of us the same thing. We've got to open kidney filtration because she's backed up in sewage. She's backed in cellular, just like this guy says here. She's backed in metabolic waste. And there's the compartments in your cell that store that. I mean, this is good reading. For those of you that know how to read this with understanding that you have, it's a, oh, wow. This just helps to confirm what you guys already know. What will it take to get her strength back? All right. So where's her blood pressure? All right. So when you're in kidney failure, the blood pressure hits low first and then goes high. And so kidney failure is why blood pressure is high on everybody. It affects the diastolic and then pushes up the systolic. The diastolic, the bottom numbers, your kidneys, and uh, anything above 70 is kidney problems. Uh, what would it take to get her strength back? Okay, so if she has low blood pressure, give her a licorice root. Uh, I hate to, I, I don't even recommend a glandular when you have tumors. So hit licorice root and the adrenal formula. And licorice root will help with the with the uh, uh, with the kidneys as well. Uh, what would it take to get her strength? Now remember, she's on pain medication. So you're asking, me, what can I give her to override the pain medication? And that's gonna that can make pain come back. So she's kind of caught between a, a rock and a hard place. She's got to titrate off her pain medication to the point where you know she can. She, she doesn't have so much fatigue or suppression. But all pain medication is neurotoxic, guys. And that includes propofol, Michael Jackson effect. It'll flat out kill you. I mean, these are, are neurotoxins. Same with marijuana smoke and everything else. These are neurotoxins. Not near as bad, though. And, and you know, you get them out. But, far, but uh, your uh, uh, vaccines are majorly neurotoxic. People go right into ADD, uh, uh, seizures, or death from vaccines. But let's develop more. Oh. Jesus, this, you see what planet you're on? I just want you guys to know. Uh, <laughs> what would it take to regenerate her pancreas and liver again? You're doing it. Cells will regenerate themselves given the opportunity because the blood brings in the chemistry and the energetics to do that. It's the lymph that blocks all that and suffocates the cell and, 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 and breaks it down, burns it alive. But then here comes the lymphocytes, but whoa, wait a minute. The highway is full. Nobody can come help me. That's why you can't get cells out of tissue and you see the whole tissue start to decay because you can't get those cells to the lymph nodes. It's all blocked. Same thing. Why would you get a tumor? If the lymph system's working, you don't. So you have a blockage. If you see a swelling, you have a blockage on this side of it. Well, when your lymph nodes swell, what's blocking the lymph nodes from filtering? Where does the lymph nodes? For the guy that asked me in naturopathic school. So where does the lymph nodes dump? Oh, into the blood, into the inferior vena cava, and back into the venous system. Anybody teaches that is ignorant as hell. Is that is stupid thinking. As a chemist, and I had Pat in here, and we were bouncing back. You can go look at that video. You don't dump acid waste back in the blood. That is as ignorant as you can get. You do not do that, and you can't do that. So those that are teaching A and P need to learn a little more. Do some, do some work on your own there. Uh, and what it took, how long it took, and what healing crisis we might expect along the way. Flu-like symptoms. Cold and flu-like symptoms. Those are all the symptoms that people have. Now, when you get into the weaknesses, and what happens as your body removes all this inflammation and these proteins and these acids, you notice after the third or fourth day, you're feeling pretty good. 
You're feeling good. You're feeling calm. Everything's pretty cool. Your mind is relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've been cleaning and getting rid of all these acids and all this inflammation in the body. And, and now you're feeling better. So these are the symptoms that you get. However, you have weak adrenals genetically. Oh, they're so tired. My God. That's weak adrenals. Remember, you've got to add your genetic weakness on top of this problem. And when you have weakened adrenals genetically, and most people, I hate to say it, is in the higher subacute to mostly chronic levels of adrenal gland weakness. So you're 80, 90 over diastolically, or 100 even. That's low. So not only you're low normally, you really, when it kicks you like this, you're really low because the adrenals have to shut down, the kidneys come up. And so that's why you feel really tired. That's where you're supposed to rest. You rest, relax, learn what to eat because that electrifies you. Remember, fruits are the most electric foods on the planet. You're still going to feel tired on them because your body's in a cycle of cleansing itself, getting rid of what it doesn't want. And the mucus is part of the lymph system from you eating things that are mucosic responsive. So all this mucus people have in their sinuses, in their throat, in their lungs, they put it there. They ate the foods that create that. It's just the medical doctors have been blocking the truth for generations, so you guys can't hear this. And some of us no longer care. We're going to tell you the truth. So that's what I would be doing. Just what you're doing. Keep grapes, 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 grapes. Give, if, after 30 days, you know, you can move into a whole bowls of fruit or something like that. Uh, I would keep that fruit going until that tumor and when you start to see the reduction of these tumors that's when you know you got it on the run and you keep going now you're going to want to get on a deep you're going to want somebody here to write you up a protocol because you're going to want this is a serious case you're not going to want to play fly by night here with this case i love what you're doing so what would you do you three kidney formulas start out with one lymphatic formula then what you could do is what you could do guys when you're tumored up like this, okay, so for the first two weeks, you put them on the kit. All right, from then on, you got a month, right? So you want to hit three kidney formulas. You could lymphatic five capsules. One, twice a day. One, twice a day. With that over on the tincture column, blood. You got liver gallbladder, so that's going to buffer. That's going to buffer the high uh, blood root and, and, uh, and poke root, so you're buffering the liver from that. Uh, this is going to pull. This is the strongest astringent formula we make, and uh, because you don't want any stronger, because that, this can still pull tumors. So this is this part of the, you want to be gentle at first, because your your goal is to get those kidneys to filter, get the adrenals up, get those kidneys to filter. Because once you do that, the tumor will have a pathway out. If you try to fight the tumor, which is what medical thing, you go after the tumor or go after the cells that are damaged from the tumor. Oh, I just killed my patient because focusing on the wrong thing. I was focusing on the cells, which are structure function of their body, instead of focusing on why they have a tumor. This is a fluid problem. Not a cell problem, it becomes a cell problem, but viruses can be cell problems. In other words, weakened cells genetically will always call, the proteins will always open themselves to invasion. And these glycoprotein spikes, to me, are the lymphatic expression of a cell that's been surrounded with acids. And then finally, it'll break right through the cell wall, and the cell will try to push it into the, the storage spaces where it stores all its metabolic acids, but then, you know, brings the cell down. Well, that initiates an immune response for a lymphocyte to take that cell right to right to the lymph nodes where the macrophages are those that come in. Well, you got a damaged cell? I'll take care of that one. I'm hungry. They phagotize that cell. And then you've got the bacteria that's taking in the waste and the trash, the acids and the, and the proteins and stuff, which is what they do best. And then everything then, all that, 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 that low pH, 3 pH, whatever that pH is, was around 3 cellularly, that 3 pH can now be converted to 6. And now off to the kidneys where you can eliminate it very nicely. All right, guys. I love you guys.